Thanks to a viewer question, in this video I'll be showing you how to delete AI characters from videos. First, you would start by creating your AI character, and you can see when the AI character is created, it appears as a layer in your project. One problem that you have, since the dialogue that the AI character says is based on the auto captions, is that if there's a large gap between two auto captions, like you see here, the AI character may disappear off the screen when the video plays over this section, and then reappear when the dialogue starts again to the end of the video. Notice also that the character disappears before the video ends. To fix the end of the video, all you need to do is trim the clip to fix the gap in the middle. You'll need to remove that middle clip. You can see that there are two separate AI character layers here because I have to move the AI character into position twice. Two AI character layers have been generated because of the gap between the auto captions. While you can edit your AI characters, it's best to delete them and recreate them from scratch. To delete an AI character layer, all you need to do is select one of the layers like I just did. Once the layer is selected, just tap on the trash can to delete that AI character. Scrub back and forth in the video. In case you have multiple AI -like character layers like I do here, select the other layer and tap the trash can once more. Repeat this process until you've gone through the entire video. To reduce the gap between these auto captions and make your AI character one continuous layer, you need to remove this clip in the middle. You tap on the text icon once more, you can actually take a look at the auto caption. This will help you split the clip properly. Split the clip at both of these points and delete the clip in the middle. This will automatically snap captions closer together. Then go back to the beginning of your video, select the first caption, tap on AI characters, and create the character from scratch. Just select a character and be sure that all captions is selected. Once you've selected your character, tap on the check mark and make sure that you mute the original video sound so you don't hear the original voiceover in addition to what the AI character says. If you go back to the main timeline, you'll see a small thumbnail appear over top of your main clip. If you tap on that thumbnail and expand it out and scrub through your video, you'll see an extra layer appear underneath your main clip. This is an overlay that is your AI character. Now that the AI character is one continuous layer, you can move that character into position and export your video. If you receive a photo like these two photos here and you want to react to them using stickers, just long press and you've got your typical reaction option along the top. You can press one of those and it will be added to the corner of the photo that you select to add stickers. Just long press the photo again and tap on add sticker. To use the emoji stickers, just tap the emoji icon right here and select your sticker. It will be applied to either the top or bottom corner. And the person who sent you the photo or message will be notified that you replied to that message with a sticker. Just tap the send icon and it will send. Normally you can add a sticker by long pressing and tapping on the message. And once again, you've got your standard reaction options along the top, and you can choose any of your favorite stickers, and that's how you reply to photos and messages with stickers in Apple Messages.